nice job. Oh, he ain't out of the water. Hey everybody, as you all probably know, my name is Troy Sessions. I live in Alaska, I hunt in Alaska, and everything I love to do is Alaska based. And on this series with 60 Inch Club, I wanna go over rifle selections, basically for hunting in Alaska. And it doesn't have to be hard. You know, a lot of common sense involved here, what caliber that you wanna use, and then keep in mind the ever-present danger of running into a grizzly bear. You want to have a big enough caliber to handle the situation and make things right if uh, the need arises. And I've had plenty of needs. Come here, I'll check it out. And he puts a door at both ends of your tent. And I hiked out back. This bear came in from behind the tent and came crashing through the back end of the tent. It's all about shot placement. And if you guys get out in the field and you do a lot of shooting with your, with the, your selected firearm, and you can hit an eight inch pie plate at 200 yards, then you're gonna be able to be successful in Alaska. I personally love the 300 wind mag, and I love the ballistic, co ballistic coefficiency out to 1,000 yards. It is rivaled by the 700 mm out to 1,000 yards, but still, it's got, you know, it's a 30 caliber bullet. It's got a big knockdown power, and when I'm, in the presence of a grizzly bear, I don't feel like I need more. <clears throat> that doesn't mean that when I'm on Kodiak Island and a 10-foot grizzly bear stands up that I don't feel a little bit inadequate. Then I'm gonna probably gonna be wishing I had the 338 to 375 H&8s. Uh, maybe some of the rums would fall into that category and then you can go up from there. What you're looking at with a moose is that you don't want them falling in the water deep water a little bit of water fine it makes a really nice you know a butchering job keeps the animal the meat nice and pristine and clean and I've, it's happened to me many times but deep water man if you ever try to pull something 14 15 1700 pounds out of the water before what calibers have i used out in the field when it comes to hunting moose i've used the 300 wind mag for 25 years and i'm going to show you that gun here in a little bit um, it's been a really nice gun. I use a 3x9 Leopold scope on it. I, I've owned it 25 years. I've killed a ton of animals with that. And I've done, so I've taken it with the 300 wind mag most of my life, every animal in Alaska. And then um, I've, we've taken them with, uh, me and my friends have taken them with the 7mm's. Um, really nice flat shooting, long distance gun as well. Even better, I think, than the 300. My personal opinion. But uh, I've had some trouble with the 7mm. We've, we've, we've killed every animal that we've shot, but they have required more shots. And on one particular animal, the grain of the bullet wasn't to my satisfactory. It was about 160 to 170 grain bullet. My friend's rifle, he was shooting, and he ended up having to shoot it more times than necessary. And then butchering the animal out, um, he didn't even break, he broke the first rib and it didn't even pass all the way through the animal, which brings up the bullet. I like to shoot a heavier grain bullet, and I love to shoot AccuBond long range, the ABLR brand. Um, personally, a partition type bullet that can really have some good knockdown power. Department of Fish and Game substantiates those claims as well, as well as the eight inch pie plate at 200 yards. Um, and you can go onto their website and, and read that for yourself. But I'm just gonna tell you what I've personally done and personally experienced with all the big bulls that I've taken in my life in the last 30 years, and I've taken a bunch of them. It's, I've been really blessed in the moose hunting, doll sheep, grizzly bears, caribou, black bears realm in Alaska. It's been really darn, really, really cool for me. My buddy Kyle Lamb and I and my wife Linda, we've gone out uh, with the 4570 with really nice, you know, optics on it. One of them was open sight, one was scope sight, and what a difference that made for anything up to 200 yards. It's, a, it's just a lights out, drop, one shot drop type of caliber. And it, my wife could shoot the caliber in rifle, and so could the infamous Kyle Lamb of Viking Tactics. 
uh, and also a, a previous retired operator, special force operator. You all probably know him from Guns and Ammo. Incredible rifle, super good. You can shoot him out of the 200 range and then go in the bush after him for them up close encounters if need be. Or you're in there gutting out uh, your moose or whatever animal you've taken down and now you want to have that gun to protect you from any bears coming in while you're processing that animal. My personal opinion when it comes to shooting a moose or an animal up here except for grizzly, you shoot them in the heart and lungs, that animal is going to die in 100 yards. And that, that, that animal is yours. You can track that blood trail, you're going to get that bull. Next, if, you, if he's heading towards deep water or if that bear's heading somewhere, then you can go for a one-shot drop and just drop him in his track. Good for you. And it also puts them out of their misery a lot quicker too. A good neck shot or a spinal shot to drop them so they're not going to get into an area where you can't um, process that animal properly. So I recommend that if you got one bow hunter in the group, he brings a bow, your buddy brings a rifle, you know how to shoot that rifle. Make sure of it. Go shoot together. Know how that rifle shoots for both of you. You got your bow, you got your buddy's gun as a, as a backup, and especially maybe even if there's a bear that shows up, you gotta have a rifle. If you're both bow hunters, bring at least one rifle and as a backup. I, I just, I highly recommend that. And I, we've exercised that use before. We've had big giant bull moose at 25 yards and sticks in the way, could not thread that needle, you know, um, with precision so we didn't take the shot and later, uh, and moments later, grabbed uh, the 300 wind mag and, and uh, had that bull sign the guest book. So now that we've gone over you know, my favorite calibers, it, it, at this point in time, you need to get out in the field and shoot your gun and decide what you're gonna wanna shoot. And premium ammunition is a must, okay? Get the best ammunition that you can afford for that rifle and shoot to data for your gun or sight it in at 200 yards. Uh, typically it's two inches high at 100 yards, dead on at 200 yards. It takes away the guess game, guessing game out to 300. You're lethal from one out to 300 within that pie plate for most calibers. So if you like what I had to say here, please subscribe. Um, hit the like button. If you know somebody that could really use this information, please share it with them. And when you subscribe, hit that bell if you want to know more because it'll notify you when I have new videos coming out. Tell me if you want to know more, what you want to know more about. I'll be happy to do the research, look things up, and get them for you here, maybe even on the next episode. And I might even include your name in it if, uh, if it's going to be a super relevant question that, that everybody will benefit from. So again, I'm Troy Sessions. Be safe out there hunting, guys.